Do you guys want to know the best perk build for the Oni so that you can win most consistently in this game? Well, if you do, you're in the right place. Stick around so I can show you the perks and the gameplay that we're going to be doing today. Let's go. Okay, guys, the very first perk and the most important one for the Oni is Infectious Fright. When you hit someone with your power, you put them into the dying state. What happens is any survivor within your terror radius will scream for six seconds and you'll know their location. That way, you know where your next target is and you don't have to waste your power without knowing where to go to next. We are going to combine that with Knockout, which makes dying survivors or us not visible unless the other survivors are within a 16 meter range and Deerstalker so that we can see the dying survivors or us within a 36 meter range. Because we got a slug so much, these two perks work very good together. If the game is a little more complicated, we're going to be using Pop Goes the Weasel to put a little bit of pressure on those generators. The best add-ons for the Oni are the ones that increase his movement speed while you're doing your demon dash and the one that makes survivors drop more orbs so you can get your power a lot faster. But anyways, let's get right into the games and see how the matches go. Let's go. All right, guys, we've made it to the groaning storehouse at the Macmillan Estate, of course, with the Oni. And I'm going to show you how to use these perks efficiently. Um, of course, if everything goes well, every once in a while, you get really, really strong survivors and it's hard to to do what you want to do but most of the time these perks work very well with the oni and the first thing you want to do is find a survivor right away and get a hit on them so let's see if we can get this girl okay we probably won't be able to get a hit here so we're gonna go and break this wall she's pretty smart Oh, what are you doing? Okay, that's a free hit. She wanted to get that challenge done in front of me, apparently. So we get a free hit. And we're going to let her go because we want her to run around the map and drop the blood orbs. There's somebody here. It's Nancy. And we can get a hit on her. Let's go. And just like that, guys, our power is basically full. I just got to get a couple of orbs or hit her again. And my power is it's full again. So I want to get her down, and this is where the snowball starts to happen, guys. So we know there's somebody else in there. I'm going to face the other way in case they have a flashlight. Hooker. And now that we have our power, we basically become one of the strongest killers in the game, and we can finish the game very quickly. The problem is that a lot of Onis tend to use their power as soon as they get it. You got to wait until you find someone and then activate your power. And what happens is, when you take someone down with your power, Infectious Fright activates, and you'll be able to see your next target. If you just activate it without seeing anyone, without knowing anyone is in the vicinity, then you're not going to be able to hit anyone. But here, we know there's a girl here. We saw the scratch marks. We just got to find her, and then take her down. Let's see. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, there she is. And she's going to go down here. Perfect. Somebody else screamed, so we just got to look around and see where they were. They're going for the save, but it's not going to happen. And they're down. And just like that, guys, we have one more survivor that is able to do anything. If we can get a hit on them, then the game is over. Super, super efficient with our power. Oh, look, and she walks right in front of us. So the game is basically over. Unless one of the other survivors has unbreakable, then she's going to go down and it's going to be game over. Let's see. You should have dropped the pallet. But you didn't. And that's that. Let's go, guys. Yeah, guys. That's why I love this perk build on the Oni. I think it's a great, great build. The fact that Deerstalker and Knockout work so well together. They, uh, survivors can't see their survivor friends. And they just stay on the ground. And obviously, because you keep using your power, you gotta slug people to move on to the next target. The knockout um, comes into, oh, I mean, Deer Stalker comes into play so you can find them later on. But yeah, just like this, we're going to find the last person on the ground with Deer Stalker. And, and, and of course, if you're playing against a better group of survivors, that's, that's when Pop comes into play. Because you can move so fast, uh, you know, from one side of the map to the other. You can choose the generator you want to pop, use that, and move on. But yeah, guys, let's uh, let's get on to the next match. All right, guys, Rotten Fields. This is a great map for the Oni because it's so open. There's obviously low visibility, 
but that doesn't really come into play um, when you can smack someone down with your power. You can see them on the ground with Deerstalker anyways. So let's see if we can find the first survivor. We hear something here. Ooh, I saw someone. Okay, she's going to run away, huh? Little sprint burst. That's nice. That's nice. All we got to do is get the first hit. And that's when we get the ball rolling, guys. We got to get our power activated as fast as possible. And we missed that. That's not good. Okay, 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 okay. We can get her here. Perfect, perfect. We see someone else as well. Okay, they're all going in the same direction. That's perfect. I can probably try and grab her. Perfect. Let's go, guys. We can go ahead and hook her and... <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, where is this Nia? She's gonna vault again. We'll get her on this side. She's gonna have to drop the pallet. Oh, I can't believe they just finished the generator. Yeah, okay. Alright, if you wanna give me this pallet, that's perfectly fine. She's actually, in my opinion, very smart. What you wanna do against the Oni is pre-drop pallets. Um, you don't wanna get him to hit you because that's when all the blood orbs are dropping. Yeah, she's, she's really smart. The fact that she's just pre-dropping every pallet, I'm going to let her go, move on to someone else. Um, because we need to hit someone to activate her power. If we don't hit anyone, then we have no power. So she's doing the, the right thing. But I think we can get this girl. Come on, Serena. Come back here. Come back here. Are you going to drop it too? Are you going to drop it too? No. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's a second gen done. That's not good. I, th I think I keep thinking that she's going to go for the pallet. And she just does not do that. Okay. All right, buddy. But <clears throat> what I'm trying to do right now is just get as many blood orbs on the field as possible. That way we can keep activating our power over and over again. Okay. So... We're going to go to this gen over here, see if we can use pop on it. Yeah, I hear them working here. I hear them working. All right, Serena, you need to go down now. You need to go down. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? They popped another gen. What? We're going to go for her. Can we get her here? Can we get her here? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. And just like that, we got one more. If she goes for the save right now, then it's going to be more complicated. But can we get her? So, obviously, when you have your power, you want to go for the healthy survivors first before your power ends. Um, and then go for the ones that are hurt. This guy's prob probably going to have borrowed time. Yeah, I knew it. And then Serena should be here healing. Let's see if we can get a hit. Okay, no, she's smart. She's smart. Alright, Serena. Alright, Serena. You keep burning. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Nia and hook her. Yeah, I can't believe with the three of them, they've done three gens already. Kind of crazy. Now we grab all these blood orbs that we left on the ground, and we should be able to power up again. Let's go, guys. Perfect. We got pop for this one. And then I'm expecting someone to go save Nia any second now. I don't see him though. Okay, we'll go back to this side of the map. Activate our power. And make a little sweep. Let's go. We got her here. Yes. All right. I'm going to go ahead and pick her up because when you pick someone up, your power goes away, but the bar doesn't keep going down. So it's going to be a lot faster to power up again. So if you think of picking someone up, do it as fast as possible so you don't drain your power. Let's go, guys. Let's see if we can power up again. We should be able to right here after we use pop, of course, on this gen. Let's go. Okay. Yep, that's what I thought. They went back for the save. Let's see if we can get them here. We'll get someone. 
Oh, I see the scratch marks. Who is it? Is this Arena? Oh, it's you! It's you! Okay. And we got someone else over here. We can get them. We can get them. Ooh, that was close. That was close. That was good, too. That was good, too. Alright, let's go back for the guy on the ground, though. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't... Yup. She's right here. Can we get the hit, though? No, I can't. Shoot! I should have waited. I heard her. I just thought I could get the M1 hit. But that was not the case. I Come on, Serena. She's doing good. And she's going down now. What? Dead hard? Okay. Gosh, man. These guys are a lot better than I expected. They're playing very, very good. But okay. Let's see if we can finish the game here. Ooh, they just popped that gen. So, I'm pretty sure they're both going to be in the same spot. Let's see if we can get a hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed. No. Come back. Okay, we got it here, and we see the second person as well. All right, Ace. That's it for you. That's it for you, buddy. Let's see. He's going to try and go for the save, huh? Yeah, it's over. Gosh, man, that was a difficult match. And he, she DC'd. Nia DC'd, okay. But yeah, guys, um, hopefully with these two matches, I showed you the hard part of the game with the Oni, which is, you know, a match something similar to this. And then the easy ones, which is the first one that we played, um, you're going to be about half and half most of the time. But if you run the perks that I showed you here today, I think you're going to have a lot better time playing as the Oni. And then, of course, you just got to, you know, practice, practice, practice his power. Because initially, I used to hate the Oni. I thought he was really, really hard to use. But after a while, after you get used to the power, it becomes a lot easier. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you guys then. Take care. Peace out. Bye.